-hmm. So we're going to go look at uh, print speed, changing the print speed on the fly. So back down to the menu, and we'll select Tune. Tune. And then, now that's also how we would abort a print. So if we, I mean, pause is on the front, but if we want to abort the print, we have to go to Tune, and the first selection is abort the print. But then we're going to go to Print Speed, select it, and now with the wheel, we can slow this down. Again, we're doing this on the fly. So if you can hear the motor, now it's operating in slow speed because we're down to 46%. And now we're gonna go in the other direction. We'll raise it back up. We'll bring it back up to about 100 to normal. So now it's going at normal speed. And from here, we can go north. So let's push, we'll bring this up to say 120%. And this will shorten the time of the print. So depending on the geometry of your print, you can experiment and make decisions. You know, if you need to slow it down because it's kind of a delicate print and you, you, know, you want to deliberately make sure that the layers are going um, on carefully, great. But if you have kind of an ordinary print and you feel like it can withstand the rapid motion, boost the print and then let it go. So that's altering the print. You can adjust all sorts of other things, but I'm going to let you guys read the manual for that. So if I wanted to leave it here, I could just say click to return and I would be back to the normal, um, you know, I could go all the way back to the uh, hit return. There. Now we're back to the normal print window with the countdown of the time. And maybe we'll just let that run at 120%. Okay, so 